My name is Karen Clark and I am the owner of Mosaic Wellness. It is a CBD premium store with a wellness studio behind it, behind this wall. Um, we opened three months ago and we wanted to create the ripple effect of peace and wellness in our community and educate people about the efficacy, the use and potential use of CBD in their world and their health. Um, because I, I truly believe that, that, uh, that, that people need to understand that this plant is not scary. And that's why I opened the store is to educate and to bring awareness to a plant medicine that has been a medicine for a very long time. Right. And my name is Michelle Castro. I am very fortunate and blessed to work here and to learn from Karen. I come from uh, 10 years of working in the addiction and treatment fields. I also have personal sobriety and I found that plant medicine is probably the most important way to help address and help a population that has been exploited, downtrodden, and abused by pharmaceuticals. And there are living a lot of consequences that are unnecessary and that can be remedied by plants. And so I was connected to her through a mutual friend of ours and uh, I was in a career change and this opened up an opportunity. I absolutely fell in love with her <laughs> when I first met her because we have a lot of the same intentions for wellness and healing for others. And it feels good. I know that when I come here and I help people, I go to bed and I go to bed with a nice, calm mind because I am doing something helping others. And that's always been a purpose of mine and I love plant medicine. I've always gravitated towards the importance of it as an Ayurvedic practitioner and student myself also. It's really important that we find our the refuge from uh, everything out there, all the toxins, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and start finding refuge in plants and wellness and togetherness and community. And that's something that Mosaic does. You know, one of the reasons that I, I started this or open the shop is not just for the CBD part of the shop. We have other products as well. We have medicinal mushrooms. We're bringing in some Ayurvedic herbs based on Michelle's recommendations. We have some other superfoods and superfood powders and proteins and and mixes that are coming in from a really great brand. But the other thing is, you know, we had the opportunity to have the space behind here. And, and when I was a practitioner, do you know, providing health coaching services to people here in the Los Angeles area. I was having a very difficult time finding a place to provide my services in a quiet, peaceful place. Because my home has two small dogs that like to be very rambunctious when people walk in the door. So doing my health coach practice from there was not really fabulous. Um, but what I also found was that things were so cost prohibitive that it was, I, I was spending my entire fee on the rent to place, you know, to be able to have a place to go. So we have, not just the space behind us to do classes, but we also provide it for people who want to bring in their own practice and rent the room or by the hour or for the day for their own workshop. And we do it so that it's it's a fair price mm -hmm. that the people who are coming in and building their own practice can still earn the money that they have been that they have charged to their customers. And a lot of these people aren't charging that much for a lot of really fabulous information about how to heal from traumas, how to heal from um, addiction, how to heal from just the life that we live here in the Southern California area. You know, it's I know, almost every single person who walks through this door says, I need to, I, I need, I need to help reduce my anxiety. And you know, they come in, they're clinging to the ceiling yeah. and, and that's not normal. You know, waking up on the ceiling and trying to crawl down with no help whatsoever is almost impossible. And mm -hmm. so we want to bring the practice of meditation, the practice of um, eating good food, the practice of getting off your butt and getting, you know, walking down the street and going for a walk. Um, just something to move the body, you know, move your energy so that you're, you're, you're more connected with your mind, your body, and your spirit so that you can go out and have less stress, so that you can go out and be of service to other people. So with my own personal sobriety as well, I find that being of service to people and, 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 and having that be one of the principles of this space is really important because I mean there's some people who walk in here and we don't have what they need and they need something way different than what we can offer and we don't sell them anything. We give them a recommendation and let them know.
know that what we have will help them. And, and that's like from our heart. So we, we want to make sure that if we can help someone, we can and we will, and we'll provide them the information of what that means. And if we can't, we will let them know. And we also will also make sure that, that they're speaking with their doctor if they're under doctor's um, guidance. So that's another thing that's really important is that we don't play doctor here. We have a whole bunch of information about contraindications, and we speak to our, our customers about that as well. And we really emphasize a lot of engaging a person who has no knowledge of what CBD is. A lot of times our clients come in going, oh, you know, a friend of mine's doing CBD. What the heck is that? Or a friend of mine's taking CBD and they're feeling better from this and from that. Why? And so we love to get the people that are completely new to CBD and educate them from the ground up. We love giving you an understanding and a small crash course about our favorite, my favorite doctor, Dr. Mishulam. Rafael Mishulam, thank you, thank you. Because he has done so much to help people through the study of cannabis and how we can, we can have health without having side effects and being placed on more and more pills. You can be healthy. Your natural state, I know this and I believe this to my core, is to be open and to be happy. Not only because I'm a Buddhist, but I totally believe that we all deserve to be happy. You know? And that anandamide, <laughs> you know, endogenous yes. cannabinoid, if it's failing in our bodies, we're not happy. Bliss, happy, anandamide. If we don't have that without our own production, then we need to add cannabinoids to our bodies. And not that just CBD is going to be enough to kick up all that production, and we all understand that, but we are not a... a cannabis dispensary, so we can only speak about CBD and some of the entourage effects of adding additional plant terpenes into those products, um, and also the use of full spectrum CBD from the hemp plant, and you know, if, if we can provide education and information about that and help people understand that there is medicine here, that there is hope here, that you don't have to be on the ceiling every day. They also don't have to be counting sheep all night long because they can't quiet their minds. You know, we talk to people every day about the, the, the amazing benefits of meditation along with using their CBD to go to sleep. Um, you know, some of the, just some of the more, the more hopefully helpful tips that we can provide to the people who are walking through the door. Um, our, our other teammate, is in New York right now. She's on a personal vision quest. I think she's on day three of No Food, No Water in the forest in New York, surrounded by prayer flags and prayer. Is that what they are? Prayer flags? Prayer flags. Yeah. And so we are eating and drinking for her for the next couple days. Yeah. Yeah. But she's also a Reiki master and she, she provides us the, um, the Reiki class that we have on Tuesday nights. Mm -hmm with sound and it is the most enchanting peaceful experience experience i mean my <laughs> my heart rate goes down to 47 or 48 when i'm done with yeah. class and i look at my, my watch and i'm like can i die <laughs> my heart i'm just so peaceful and so right. chilled out yeah. yes and you know owning a business in los angeles three months in it's kind of stressful <laughs> and all of our classes too we offer whoever comes in to take it to try our CBD experience. We give yes. them complimentary CBD so that they can try it if they've never experienced it before. And maybe they have done meditation, maybe they have come and done restorative yoga, but they may have never tried it with CBD. So they can experience the added benefit of the anxiolytic properties or the anxiety reducing properties that CBD does and the inflammation reducing properties while you're actually practicing your yoga, while you're actually practicing the healing you know, resources of Reiki, sound, uh, meditation, whatever we have classes going on here, it's complimentary to the client that comes in. We want you to enjoy it. We want you to be healthy. It's your right to be healthy. And we definitely are on the forefront of wanting to help you get there. had to get over the behavior of that 
Um, I started using CBD flour about five years ago um, to reduce um, the inflammation and pain in my back and also to be able to just climb down off that ceiling. Um, and I found it to be the most beneficial of, of all the products of, of any kind of CBD that I'd ever tried. Um, but sometimes smoking isn't, isn't practical, so, um, so I use a, a high CBD to THC tincture of the two to one that Higher Minds Medicinal makes, and I love that product. I also use straight CBD, I, I use CBG, um, and I started in this whole cannabis space approximately nine years ago when my very best friend was diagnosed with cancer, and her oncologist looked at her and just said, you need to go find me and start smoking it, and we're like, why? And he said, because you're gonna need it. And we had no idea what that meant. Um, and he, she was given three months to live, and she lived for two and a half years, longer than that three months. Um, and she was smoking out and eating edibles, and this was nine years ago when edibles in a dispensary were still sold in a Ziploc bag marked brownie and permanent marker <laughs> on a Ziploc bag <laughs> with absolutely no dosing and no milligrams per bag at all. And, um, and we had a lot of experimenting to do. Um, I didn't experiment at that time, but she was under doctor's care. So, um, and I and I truly believe that that, that the use of cannabis um, really helped her be able to live a lot longer than she was actually given, and um, and had a good quality of that life that she got to live up until she passed away, and um, couldn't look back. And for me, I've been um, using. CBD products since I pretty much started here. It was something I was very close-minded to because I was obviously came from the addiction field and having personal sobriety and having been a former pothead myself. I was like, wait, wait a minute, it's cannabis, hold on. Can't be doing that, what if a client sees me or whatever, you know, but it got over it. I got over it and I realized my intention. Quickly, she got over that. So quickly, it was shocking. <laughs> But I, I had to get really clear about my intentions as a sober individual delving into the cannabis world because I was, Whoa, you know, these staunch ideas before and understanding my intention is for healing. I'm uh, on the precipice of turning 45. So I'm at this place where my body is going, mm, you might be coming into menopause. You might not sleep good tonight. You might feel like shit today. Whatever's going on. And I've noticed that the CBD has helped me really truly mitigate a lot of that stuff and create a lot more balance and homeostasis, which is what it does, in my feelings of ups and downs through the day. My tolerance to stress has increased tremendously. My feelings of just feeling okay in moments of where I find myself smiling during the day for no reason. Yes. <laughs> And then just understanding that I don't, I don't even have cramps anymore either. I mean, there's just, there's little things that I started to notice that my body wasn't experiencing anymore through CBD. And I do smoke flour. I enjoy a few of the particular brands we have here are incredible. And uh, that's one thing I truly admire about Karen. Every product we have here, she gets a third party tested because she wants to make sure if you're coming in to buy something and it says what it says on the label, you're gonna walk out with what it says on the label and it's accurate. The FDA isn't regulating a lot of the stuff out there and so there's some unscrupulous people taking advantage of other people's pain and that's not okay. So thing, the thing I love about Mosaic is that they're very, very cautious about how we ethically are making sure we represent everything here and I think that is the best feeling. So um, yeah, I love the flour. I love the tinctures. I also take a tincture. I take it in the morning and at night, and I do smoke flour, and I enjoy that very much. And for topical pain, because I'm a yogi and because I do weights, ever so often I'll get some pain. And we have amazing topicals that work incredibly, and of which my yoga friends from the studio love to come and get also because it works for them too. So yeah. So we are in Studio City. We're. Um, Four doors east, excuse me, four doors west of yeah. Laurel Canyon on Riverside. We are at 12125 Riverside Drive. We are right next to Pat's Cocktails and the Texas Barbecue Restaurant. Um, anybody in the valley knows where Pat's Cocktails is, that's why I reference that. <laughs> 
Um, and we have our regular classes every week are Tuesday at 7 p.m. We have Reiki with sound healing and restorative yoga is on Sunday at 4 o'clock. And we have a schedule of classes that varies every week, um, which can be found on our Facebook page, which is at Mosaic Wellness Shop on Facebook. And we have sound bath coming up. Yes, we have a sound bath coming up on the 26th of June. Awesome. That is amazing with Kirsten Korat International. And Kirsten is an amazing sound bath healer. Um, she's also an intuitive. We did a class here a couple weeks ago and she was interviewing me about CBD, talking to the people who are getting ready to use it and then do the class. And all of her light orbs were flying all around me while I was talking and all around the room. And it was, it was just a very, very like enchanting and mythical. It was pretty cool. Um, and our hours are Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 7, Saturday from 11 to 6, and Sunday noon to 5. We are closed on Mondays. Come in and visit. Come in and hang out. Yeah. Come in and do a sit. You're welcome to come and meditate and just get to unplug and drop out from your life out there. Have some CBD, relax and breathe. Yeah, we have our studio open to anybody who wants to walk in the door up to a 20 minute meditation for no charge. Um, you can use CBD or not use CBD. We have a whole, a very mini altar set up in the corner of the room and it's peaceful and quiet.